Hello everyone, Carlos here with Maker Monthly. Just wanted to really quickly show you how to fill your new Pentel Aquash water brush from January's Maker Monthly box. It's pretty straightforward actually. All you have to do is separate the barrel from the rest of the brush by twisting it off like so. You'll notice there's a small opening here for you to insert your water, ink, or whatever concoction you plan on experimenting with. I've been using this brush with the Higgins Black Magic ink that was also included in your Maker Monthly box. The ink bottle has a built-in dropper, which makes it uh, easy and convenient for you to transfer the ink from this bottle to your brush. You'll notice that I've laid down a sheet of paper here. This is to, I guess, just kind of ensure against any messes. I'm very prone to making messes, so this is a must for me. You may want to take some measures yourself for making sure you don't get ink all over your workspace or on your clothes. Now, um, to fill the brush, like I said, just untwist the body from the rest of the brush and if you're using the black magic ink like I am then you're basically just going to want to um, soak up ink using the dropper and carefully place it inside the barrel of the brush it's going to take a couple of transfers in order to fill this up the dropper only carries so much ink if you find that this is annoying for you to uh, transfer it so many times, you can go to your local art supply store and get a little squeeze bottle. These go for like, I don't know, 35 cents, 50 cents, um, might be worth it for you. Um, but I haven't used that yet, I just used this. So let me just do this real quickly here. Okay, so you'll notice that I didn't completely fill the barrel. I don't think it's necessary to. I mean, or I, it's very possible I might change my mind about what I want to use in this pen anyway. So I just put it up about a third of the way. Now, once you've inserted as much of the liquid as you want to use, you're going to want to just uh, attach it to the brush again by twisting it on. Make sure that it's tightly sealed to avoid uh, anything leaking from the attachment here. So what you'll do at this point is just take the top off the brush so you can get a clear view of the of the brush tip and turn your brush upside down to let gravity kind of bring it through the uh, valve here and if you just lightly squeeze it a few times it's gonna force the ink through the valve and eventually you'll start to see the white bristles of the brush start to turn black from the base as they're filling with ink. Here you can start to see that now there. This one's filling up really quickly actually. Once you get about three quarters of the way through the brush tip, you can feel free to start laying down some strokes on paper. This will help you finish soaking the tip of the brush. You'll know it's ready to go once the entire tip is black and you start to get these very saturated black lines here. Now what's good about this black magic ink is that it's fast, fast drying. So even if you get really wet um, strokes, you'll notice that they dry pretty quickly. And that's pretty much it. I mean, this is ready to go.